So as you guys all came here for, it's time to run the Manitoba Tim Hortons test. I can already tell you, the grilled farmer's wrap, this is a 10 out of 10. Best one I've ever had. Oh my, this is something special, Max. I'd take 500 mosquito bites just to experience this. I'll be coming back to Manitoba one day. It's time to hit the road. We're gonna need a bigger zapper. The tennis racket of doom was barely strong enough to put a dent in a horse fly that just got in here. And there's about four or five of them ramming the window. <sighs> I'm telling you guys, there's just something so beautiful about being connected with nature. This is what it's all about. Fresh air and the scent of off. We look so sad when you see this family. There's this family out there. They're just like in their t-shirt and shorts. Yeah, I know. Not, like nothing is happening. So right now we are in Spruce Woods Provincial Park and this might be a little over the top, but not entirely. There's a lot of bugs here right now. It is that time of the year but it's really beautiful and they've got lakes, they've got a bunch of different wildlife to be found here. But one thing is very unique, at least as far as Canada travel goes. So we're gonna make our way to that side of the park. Now. So they have a sign right here and it looks a lot like a rattlesnake. Well, turns out this is a Western hognose snake. And the hilarious thing is, what they actually do as non-venomous snakes is they pretend to be a rattlesnake. So it'll rattle its tail, it'll take a couple strikes at you, but if that doesn't work, if it doesn't scare off its so-called prey, then it rolls over and plays dead because it's like it's out of options. So we're gonna try to grab a snake if we see one and just hope that it's not actually a rattlesnake. But by we, I mean Max. Max is gonna do the grabbing. Things just got a little interesting. Military explosives and hazardous debris on this site may cause death or serious injury. That's kind of fun. Serious? Do not touch suspicious objects. One of my favorite landscapes is whenever I get to see a sand dune. And apparently they have some nice ones here at Spirit Sands in Manitoba. So we're gonna start our 1.6K hike. Nothing in comparison to what we did the other day. We got this. I give you the sand dunes. Ugh. This is a nice little hike, and it wasn't too ambitious. Only half an hour, well worth it. Hey, uh, do you guys know how to get to Saskatchewan? Nay? <laughs> I shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> Two words. Holy cow. Look at all of these cows. I've never seen that many in my life. Philip, Margaret, Thomas, Denis. They're coming. Oh, here they come. Guys, I want to thank all of you. Jeremy, Franklin, Roosevelt. I'll be here next week. Good job. Good job. Yeah, yeah. So I just realized for an hour now, we've been outside of Manitoba. We have now left the province and we're into Saskatchewan. The best part is we're just an hour and a half away from every seven-year-old Canadian's best joke, and that is Regina. And check out that professional squeegee job, guys. Tutorials coming soon. Leave a like if you want to see that. If this video gets 7,000 likes, I'll do a squeegee tutorial. I will, but leave a like. This is so good. We just stopped because of that over there, came back to the car and saw this little spot over here, and I'm like, I don't want ice cream, but this looks freaking awesome. Turns out their twisters are kind of like a blizzard at Dairy Queen, but a nice homemade touch. It's, it's maybe better. Yeah. I got score in Kit Kat, and 
This is so good. This is a cool stop. Not sponsored. Let's go ahead and try out Saskatchewan's very own Double Double. It's okay. Manitoba, you're still the Double Double King. Okay, about an hour down in our drive and we are on our way today through Saskatchewan. I'm sorry to all my Saskatchewaners out there. We're not gonna give you the credit you deserve in these videos because I'm sure there's a lot of cool things to see, but we're definitely cut thin on time. So we're making our way over to the Rocky Mountains, but I don't want to skip over you completely. Check this out. It's so windy. Holy, this is Saskatchewan. Just like Manitoba, it is kind of like the agricultural heart of Canada. Empty spaces, never-ending fields, and one thing that's truly beautiful that I'm keeping my fingers crossed we will see, but we might not be here in the right time of the year, is the canola fields. And basically you get yellow as far as the eye can see. It's this tall grass, kind of looks like corn stalks. It's truly beautiful. There's a lot of that in this province, at least I've seen in the tourism ads. And there she is, the Canada Dream, just beasting through the country. You do not want to see the grill. We've destroyed at least a thousand mosquitoes every hour of every day. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel bad about it. Now, what's cooking, good looking? Mm, pancakes. Pancakes. So this is why we stopped. We want to have some pancakes ah. with a bit of a view here. There's this joke in Canada that if your dog runs away and you live in Saskatchewan, then no stress because you have at least two days until it's out of sight. And that is exactly how I'm feeling right now because it's just flat. And there's a beauty to that. It gives you perspective as to how large this country, this province, this everything is across the border. And now we have entered into the province of Alberta, our second last province on the great Canada Tim Hortons sponsored road trip. Not sponsored by Tim Hortons, but it should be. If you're watching, Tim's, call me. So this is something else. We have arrived in one of the best places on planet Earth. I don't know anything about it, but I'll tell you one thing. It's called cereal. I've always dreamed of this moment. I should really get the car moved on. Parked in a bad spot. We just had to stop guys because on the side of the road was the BIT Museum and Antiques. It's a back in time museum. This is so random. It's re I think it's part of the North American road trip culture, right? A little like, bit. There are yeah. so many attractions on the side. Like, but we they've have got all... Mr. Bean. Yeah. We have Back to the Future. <laughs> we have a little girl. Oh, that's, okay. oh, that's creepy. I don't even know who runs this or if it's just. I, I know nothing. It's just so out of place. It's amazing. Good, how are you? This is so interesting. It caught her eye from the side of the road. Oh, yeah. Go on in. Oh, wow. Yeah. That one is my favorite. Yeah, I love the favorite. pale blue. Thank yeah. you, a little inspo for my Bali bike. Well, that was a very unexpected stop. It felt like antique road show, but all in one place. And yeah, the lady charged us like five bucks a person to go check it out. She was super, super nice. Very eclectic, very unique, as you would imagine. Somebody who collects all sorts of things and has them on the driveway is gonna be a very special person. But we gotta hit the road here. Um, we're trying to catch sunset in Drumheller. All right, so we are on our way now to Drumheller and directly ahead of us is a storm cloud. Max went to flight school and so he knows clouds. But I told Max, Max, that is a storm cloud. And he said, maybe. And guess what I just saw, Max? I saw lightning. You can't replace the knowledge of a travel vlogger. All right guys, we're basically storm watching right now. Ooh, we are coming in some crazy clouds here and I'm trying to get the best shots possible. I've always been a storm chaser at heart and so whenever I see crazy chaos, beautiful gray clouds like this, I get really excited. And today we've got some really good ones. You won't believe what we just arrived at. Holy. We just beat the rain, I'm feeling it a little bit. The skies are lighting up. This is my favorite thing in the world. Bro, are you gonna get struck by lightning today? I'll try already. This is how you'll get your superpowers. Vlogger, man. <laughs> Won't be long till this starts to rain here, but 
Look at that one cloud right there. It literally looks like it's reaching out to grab us. That's so scary but beautiful at the same time. And here comes the rain. It was inevitable. I gotta either put a rain jacket on or do this all from the RV. Yo, can't see that door will literally take your hand off. Careful. <laughs> Guys, this is like no storm I've ever experienced in my life. And I've seen a few of them. We're getting shook. Like we're rag dolls and stuff. Oh my god. The RV is rocking. Like it's a like there's men outside pushing the RV back and forth, back and forth. It's crazy. This is so much fun, but scary, because like, I I was no joke, this close to having like a big stick fly by my head and hit the RV. So it was like, okay, it's time to get inside, cameras will get destroyed, and yeah, you don't really know what's gonna fly around out there. I was so scared to close the door because the air was pushing it so hard that I knew if I left it, it was gonna like chop my fingers off or something like that. So I just stayed there in that panic, pushing it. Strong. And Christian was telling me, get out of there, get in the car, get in the car. You have no idea how much the RV is moving. It's crazy that it's just wind. This is one of the coolest experiences of my life, guys. Unexpected today, did not see this coming. Now the storm is being blown away and we're actually at chance of seeing a sunset tonight, which is absurd, but possible. Over there, a clearing, a sign of hope. What? We've just shared one of the most beautiful moments of my life together. The crazy thing is, you might think you're in the right place at the right time, and that's true. But you don't get in the right place at the right time if you don't get out of your house and try these things and go out and explore and travel. It's by being out a lot, even to your most mundane locations around your town, you might come across something extraordinary, like an animal, like a storm. You never know, but you gotta leave the house to find these things. And today, we're so lucky to have this moment right here. We literally just got there, maybe 60 seconds before the storm just completely blew open. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Wow. Beautiful. So stinking. Just watch out, this is like a little river down here. I was about to jump over. <laughs> this has to be one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. One of the most beautiful experiences of my lifetime. I can't speak for you. No, it's mine too. It was incredible. And that's how we're gonna end today's video with the freaking kaboom. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get lost again in the next one.